Hi, my name's Tony, and in this video, we are going to walk through the steps of setting up Connect Mobile in an S700 series combine. To get started, we're first going to go to our Gen 4 4600 display and go into our main menu. From there, we'll go into System and Wireless Settings. We need to turn on the mobile to machine, which will allow us to connect the iPad to the combine network. So we'll go ahead and turn that on and we can select the pencil or the edit button and that will show us what our network name and network password is. Now this is the name and password that is set generically from the factory. You'll notice that the name is just the serial number of the machine and the password is just a generic password. So what we need to do then is we need to go to our iPad, we'll select our settings, and from there we'll go into our Wi-Fi settings. So just like you would connect your iPad to a home internet connection or to a work internet connection, we would need to select the network that we're looking for, which this machine or this iPad has already been connected to this machine so it automatically set up what I needed it to do. So the first time you connect the iPad to the combine you will have to enter in the password. Uh, again the network name and the password can be set up uniquely to whatever you would like it to be. Now that our iPad is connected to the machine You'll notice here in the bottom corner it says connected devices one. If we exit out of this screen it will also say it here, one connected device. So that confirms that we are connected to the machine network. We can close out of those screens and everything else will be done from the iPad. So on the iPad what we'll do is we will just go hit our home button and bring us back to our home screen of our iPad. Next thing we're gonna do is open up the Connect Mobile app. Now, if you have not downloaded that already, go to your app store and download the Connect Mobile from John Deere or Connect Mobile app from John Deere. I have that Connect Mobile app saved to my home screen, so I'm just gonna select it here. Now, you'll notice when I start up, the first time you open this app, you will have to sign in with your username and password that you utilize for the John Deere Operations Center. I was already signed in, so it automatically brought me to this screen. The other thing you'll notice when we first open the app is it had a selection between planting, spraying, and harvest. Since we are connected to the combine network, it automatically recognizes that we're wanting to be in harvest mode. So you'll see here, we got combine or harvest attributes over on the side. And you'll also notice here the little cartoonish looking picture. That's us. That's a combine. Now the other combines you'll notice there, that is any other connected machine. So if you have other connected JD Link machines within your organization, within the operation center, those will show up. So if you have tractors, sprayers, planters, whatever it may be, they will also show up on this page. Now, a couple things about Connect Mobile. You'll notice the harvest attributes here over on the this side. Also on the bottom with the combine, we have some combine settings. So we have our fan speed, rotor speed, um, our vision track calibration factor. Um, we also have some attributes down on the bottom there for average yield. We also have the ability to split screen. So if you wanted to see a varietal map, uh, or maybe we wanted to see ground speed on this map, and we could go over and we could see moisture or dry yield on this map. There's a lot of different things we can do. But once we've gotten to this point, we are now connected to the machine. We have Connect Mobile running, and that's all that needs to be done. Thank you for watching. Connect with us by subscribing to Precision Ag Answers on YouTube and following RDO Equipment Company on social media. Visit rdoequipment.com for more Precision Ag resources and solutions.